these vaccines are new, they are just on the market, and the producers are, first of all, not uh, giving any indemnity. Uh, the big countries where these vaccines are produced, where they are manufactured, are of course giving themselves the priority to serve themselves, serve their own citizens first. And we hope that the, 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 um, the pressure from the World Health Organization and Gavi will be able to get a reserve for other countries who themselves are not manufacturing and they'll be able to uh, attend to the, what we signed up to. We signed up for the uh, advanced market uh, 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 participation of the COVAX. It's called uh, VOC, uh, COVAX. So we, if we are able to get our own, I think it should be by January, but there are two types of vaccines, as you have heard. There are those that have to be in ultra deep freezers, uh, the uh, mRNA type of vaccine. Uh, freezers that must give you at least minus 80 degrees. There's another type that can be in a deep freezer of minus 20, and there's another type that can be in a refrigerator of two degrees, which is a regular refrigerator. Now, the one that's a regular refrigerator is easy in that you can just put in where many of such regular, regular refrigerators all over our country. Minus 20 will be also be possible because we have freezers, what you call freezers, but the ultra cold freezers we hardly have any in our country. Therefore, to receive and, uh, and store those ultra cold uh, vaccines will be will require that you go and uh, purchase and procure those ultra deep freezers. So we are working on the costing that it might be. Which one shall we get first? Obviously, the one that we can cover. And we have to remember again that we have 200 million citizens and uh, to find uh, ways of being able to get enough to take care of our citizens. So that means if we're able to get the vaccine that works well and does not cost us too much on cost of delivery, cost of storage and cost of delivery, that's the one we would like. Uh, and uh, be able to uh, apply it in, in, in as soon as they are available. We're also having bilateral discussions, talking with manufacturers. Some of them have reason to us, want to have talks with us. And I think one of them was, as I speak to you, it's already having a, a discussion in the Ministry of Health. Uh, the, the ones that the British and the, the Russian teams are teaming up to uh, uh, put together, uh, we're working with them. Because if we cannot get enough from one source, we should be able to get from other sources. So we are looking at multiple sources. And we have also had a conversation with uh, uh, the, the United Arab Emirates, Emirates. The ambassador came to see us and told us that they are buying uh, vaccines from, from China, and uh, which they already, uh, was already being tested there. If we were interested, they will get us, uh, uh, introduce us. So we have said, very good, we'll listen to them. we we'll listen to all sources, because the one that is effective and works, and is, uh, uh, effect is uh, helping in those countries, uh, then we shall, uh, and, and is available, are the ones that we shall bring and if they are proven to be safe.